kiss cold steel mega five. Oh! Uh, oh, oh, oh. Big old fart. Rob's trying to look like a badass. Don't smile. This is winter camping. This is how we do it. Tough. Have you checked your W2 lately? Uh, that's not what I meant, Rob. Well, good morning from the frozen white north. We made it to Hegeman Lake Trailhead. We're here in the boundary waters of Minnesota, getting ready for our deep winter trip. We're just finalizing packing up here. We got, uh, what do we got down the old temperature gauge this morning almost? Uh, negative four. Negative four we're at right now, so. Windy. This is some of the warmest temperatures that we're actually gonna see on this trip. It's only going downhill from here. In the Boundary Waters canoe area. Current temperature is negative five. We're out here for two nights, three days. Temperatures are going to be near negative 30, wind chill near negative 50. Will we, will we make it the whole three days? Stay tuned to find out. Camille, Come on, come on, and hope for it. We're gonna do it our way. Our way. We're gonna do it our way. Today we're expecting wind conditions of about 10 to 15 mile an hour wind so that brings the the actual temperature the feels like temperature down to about negative 22 so this is it this is real as real as it gets Got in there, Milos. Gypsy tear. Gypsy tears? Delicious. Give good dream. As long as you don't steal gypsy tear. You know, have to be given. So according to almost maps on Hegeman Lake here, there's a peninsula that goes out, and on the other side of this peninsula is supposed to be a camp. We're gonna check to see if that camp is viable. If not, we'll continue on maybe to the uh, north side or even on to the next lake, we'll see. Ha <laughs> ha! 
So we found a really nice spot here on Hegeman. There's a peninsula that kind of juts out and we're on the other side of the peninsula, which is protected from the wind. It's got a nice campfire pit. It's got rocks on, on the backside of our camp. Uh, uh, it's got rocks on the backside of our campsite here. So it's going to kind of protect us from the wind a little bit, but we got a few tarps we're going to put up as wind breaks. And as you can see, we got a stack of firewood here already. We're going to go look for some, uh, some additional firewood here, get our tent set up hammock set up and start uh, hunkering down for the evening because it's going to start getting cold. This is luxury style up north, way up north, boundary water place for sleep. If you can see, the system is plus three. Base, go down first. This beautiful outer shell, suspension on all sides for very safe and construction in wind. If you come inside, if you come inside, you see the sleep system go inside the inner tent. Uh, elastic uh, attachment of outer layer, good for wind, good for warm, and uh, this is not all, vestibule. Vestibule good for dry stuff, vestibule good for pack, keep out of wind, keep out of dry. And there you go, Hilleberg Deluxe. The key to any of these winter adventures is getting enough firewood to build a fire. Because you gotta cook, you gotta make water, and you gotta stay warm. Ah! <laughs> You're an animal. Trying to show me where, where to miss. I mean. Yeah! Woo! All right, here we have Milo, who is going to demonstrate how to split this piece of wood directly in half. In the aim for here. There we go. That's what Milo Shimiyagi have been doing. Yeah, That's right. It's good wood. Good, dead, down. Ah! Wood. Yeah, <laughs> like a boss. Oh! You're not supposed to sweat when you're out in negative degree temperatures, but uh, we're having fun. Your nose is sweat. Is that, I feel like I have something right here. You got a little something over, like go a, like that. Like a snotsicle? Yeah, go like that. Yeah, you got it, buddy. <laughs> here in the great big wood is a Miyagi. Time for cut. 
give us a preview of where you go for aim. Maybe we're gonna split this. Perfect middle. Right now. Right okay. Yeah. I like this shot, man. He's gonna oh, give yeah, it. Stay right there. Okay. Ah, yeah, man. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. Bah, bah. This is how we are do it. Again! Mountain Man Miyagi. Never kiss cold steel, negative five. Oh! Uh, oh! Oh! oh. Yeah. <laughs> I get this one. Yeah, it's just giving me all his work. I thought that's what you wanted this whole time. Cheating there. The worst ramen I've ever had in my entire life. Looks warm though. Mm, not really. No. It's, it's warm as relative. Well, I think anything's relative out here. So inside the tent here, it's only 15. So we got this is kind of our little cook center here. We got the uh, imported Yukon Jack Canadian liquor end table various stoves this is just kind of our home away from home where we can get out of the elements and uh, change and get our stuff done so we uh process firewood the other guys are making a tarp shelter right now to kind of cut the wind because the uh wind's supposed to kick up and the temperature's supposed to really drop tonight and then uh it's dinner time This is the solo stove. We're gonna use it to warm our hands and make some chili on. It's a great little stove for the backcountry. It's kind of heavy. I wouldn't use it on a backpacking trip for, for these pole trips. Works really well. It is, but like you said, you gotta have uh, like if I had rain pants over the top of it. Is it coming? Yeah, up, 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 These are all the ones that Mr. Almost. Hey, TurboTax. Yes. Hey, hello there, friends. Have you checked your W2 lately? <laughs> you sure it's supposed to get down to negative 10? It's gonna be warmer tomorrow, though. You hear that, Kentucky boys? Negative 10 tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is my backpacking with Jason and First Station. It's cold. It's cold. I don't know how you boys do that. <laughs> oh, seriously, we love you guys. You're supposed to be here right now. Well, at least one of you. And Ben. Ben, ben McMillan. Your day pack looks awesome. It would look better out here. You know, because you could fit one boot in it. 
one winter boot in it. But we miss you. I think you'd have, you would have had a good time. No, we'll just chip it off. Okay, who's first? This one? How much? Line it up. There's a lot of water in there. There you go. It's like a science experiment. I think because it got so hot it expanded. Yeah, no, that's fine. Good enough. or Milos, the mad scientist. Still work. Milos. Yeah, man. What are we doing? I'm gonna charge my phone overnight. So we're all hunkered down here in the Hilleberg. Well, Milos and I are. And we got the heaters on. Yeah, man. Sorry, I'm gonna have to. I'll be right back. Country wood, always a lot going on, you know, especially morning, busy time for camp. We have a uh, respectful of the warmer, we got the, the charge of the phone, the beauty of the bacon. Look at this, it's like an angel pig is gone for me, and now he's back. Good morning, friend. How did you sleep? I slept uh, like this. Very good. I sleep good. Well, we're all awake and uh, together in Rob's large hot tent. That's Rob. That's yeah. Brad. We got uh, Jeremy's burritos going. And uh, Milos is making ice. Milos, what do you got going in the pot uh, there? It's called ice soup. It's delicious, nutritious, give hydration, very important for cold weather, uh, vegan, survival. no GMO, uh, ja, gluten free, gluten -free. Uh, you calorie free, it. calorie free, actually, it's, uh, and it's free, you don't even have to pay for it. So if, uh, Are you smoking over here? That's what happens when you're in a hot tent and it's still negative 15 degrees out. Got my burritos on the uh, stove here. What do we got going on there? We delicious. got some. It smells tropical. Got some. Well, this is hot chocolate. Something smells tropical. And I just ate some strawberry oatmeal with trail mix in it. With my custom Tika? cups. What my are they cups. Kuxa. Because somebody's going to ask, what are they? These are Kuxas. This Kuxas. is a bigger one for food or more drink. And I like this one because it's exactly eight ounces. Can I touch your cup? Cup toucher. That's it. Okay, that's weird. Right. We're I just gonna, wanted to fondle your We're going to end we're the video there. Food. Jeremy just made it weird again. Keep the cold in fire. Cold in fire. Cold in fire. Use it like a great big chopstick. Use it like a great big chopstick. I'm going to put the cold in fire. I'm going to put the cold in fire. I'm going to put ya. I'm going to put ya. I'm going to put the cold in fire. Use a great big stick chopstick. Use a great big chopstick. Use a great big chopstick. Use a great big chopstick. I'm making food, making water. Milos, what is that next to you there? Well, some uh, camp you require fire for warm, and some camp require fire. Or warm and if you are not warm 
They may have a song about it. Uh, Fireball. advisory become reality. <laughs> nice wood. Thanks. Almost took one load back. Emilio and I processed there was a down pine. And as you can see here we got it all chopped up. This is what's going to keep us warm tonight because it's supposed to get down to negative 22 this evening. Ah, it's like negative 15 out right now, but man, what a beautiful day. It really doesn't feel a touch over negative five. Really. I mean, it's, it's rather gorgeous out here. It's more like a negative 40. Negative 40. Well, I mean, with the wind chill, it is negative 40 right now. But I got a lot of mercury in my body, so I can always tell what the actual temperature is. <laughs> uh, now I got to haul this back to camp. 40 hours ago, buddy. Oh, hey, Milos. Huh, what do you got here? I'm oh, making some bacon. Ah, I remember this vividly from morning in the... What's the process for uh, the cut baking in the minus 5, minus 10 below? Well, it's currently negative 5. Well, how kind of knife here are you going to use? No knife. It's very simple. You take the bacon. <laughs> You gotta stay busy. So right now we're making some fry bread. This is Native American fry bread. That's what it looks like. Nilo, how's your fry, uh, fry bread? My fry bread was amazing, man. Pretty like good. Batteries, no biscuit, <laughs> I think the fry bread was a hit. I think anything warm right now <laughs> is a hit. This Milos, I'm gonna give a tour of camp. Always I give best tour. Free charge. Over here we got a dedicated location. We pick out the most flat spot. So we can have a bigger community party. And in here is the Aria Kingdom. Beautiful, spacious, good for put the heater in, store gear, keep dry, get warm, and everything you need. I didn't want to go have a bring this for real. But we bring, and now I don't think I would go there. 
sub zero with up this. We got plenty of storage here, plenty of storage here. I got a couple of flip hook. Okay, hook tent just laying around, strewn about the place. And over here, between the, the community tent for elf and the, the campfire, you're gonna have a in your cap and the macaroni in the Hillberg tent for two. This is a very good system. Little tricky setup, but well worth it. Like a feather in your cap. We're gonna have a place for uh, socialization. Over here by the fire. It's a perfect spot to get warm. Be nice, tell story, meet a new person. We give it a little bit of adjustment because we are gonna have a better bench here, a better bench there, and a backdrop so we can uh, windbreak. This is a good spot for cook. The grate is already here. We're gonna build up the rock so it's close proximity to the cooking surface, and it's gonna be a water boil. Everything. Perfect peninsula. If you look out here, hard to get to in summer, easy for winter, perfect backpack destination. So I was asked what my top three items that I brought along for this trip. Number one is definitely my mucklucks, which were recommended to me by Almost Midwest Backpacker. And the minus 22, which is supposed to get down to tonight, and the negative 15 that it's been so far, my feet have not gotten cold. Number two is definitely this beaver fur-lined hat here. My head has not gotten cold. In fact, it's kind of hard to hear. It's so warm. And then number three, I gotta say, is all the cookware that we brought because we've been doing nothing but processing wood and cooking. So those are my top three items. Dinner tonight, fajitas. Hey man, you're hungry? How hungry are you? I am that hungry. Six inches, huh? Okay. <laughs> Listen to that sizzle, man. Mm. So good. So good. The jungle! He come alive and took it! <laughs> Alright, there we go. Oh, so close. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> You know when you have a hot fire, when Jeremy has to shield himself with a piece of cardboard. And not only that, my fingers, I'm trying to keep my fingers behind it. <laughs> Woo, buddy. Now you can just sit further away from the fire. Yeah, like, this log's good to Lean on me. If I only had a chair. When you're not strong, and I'll be your friend. Boom. I tend in the water burn, you know, to keep hot water. <laughs> Trust me, it's gonna be hot water a lot. But the uh, teapot with the hot water, this is gonna be good for uh, sleep, wake, water in the morning. So no milk. No milk? No milk. Oh, no melt. All right, Rob, good night. See you in the morning. It's 9.40. Everybody's topping up their water for the night. And uh, we'll see you all in the morning. 
So when it's negative 20 outside, this is what the inside of the tent looks like. That's all frost. <sighs> Warm. Very dragon. McCarthy. Here, one more sleep left. It's good. Man, it's good. It's good. Long day is pleasant night, buddy. Dripping. Yeah, no, I have to It's up there. Hey, good morning, Milos. Good morning. Well, here's our current reality. And it's not gonna get much better. Welcome. <laughs> From Ely, Minnesota. This is the wake up present nobody want. It's like a kick in the balls, like a kick in the breath. Uh, kick every kick. Here, kick, 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 and froze. <laughs> Wind chill forecast for this exact time. Oh, let me get the wind chill. Minus. What do you think? Go ahead for guess. I think it's gonna be minus 52. Minus 52? Yeah, man. It's minus 50 something. Let's check. Milos, you were wrong. We were both wrong. Go both. Feels like negative 46. What? Seven mile an hour winds. Only seven? Only seven. You have to get the full cut of here, man. It might be uh, shorts. You can wear your dolphin shorts. <laughs> I'm gonna get a pair of dolphin shorts <laughs> just for that reason, man. For what reason? Because I love shoe game, everybody. Yeah? Yeah, man. <laughs> He's tougher than me, I'm gonna no lie. <laughs> Like a beautiful sunrise out there. And you know everything's alright. Abominable! News flash, it's cold as shit. Um, yeah, man. Okay, now don't move for 15 minutes. Team shower? Or? Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Uh, yeah, man. Mandatory. You always want to leave your campsite the way you got it. For those of you that come next, we're leaving you a nice stack of wood. Milos has even given you kindling. Yeah. Happy for next, you know. Uh, forward pay. That's right. Always pay it forward. Leave some wood for the next group. Uh, that's not what I meant, Rob. <laughs> Negative 27 degrees. And a lot of you may ask, what's it like pooping in the woods? Here's the, uh, the backcountry commode here. And uh, the key is not to linger. <laughs> It's not bad though. Once you drop trowel and you get your butt cheeks on the uh, fiberglass there, it's not too bad. But uh, you definitely don't want to soak in the views for too long out here. Well, Mr. LaCroix, we all packed up. We are all packed up and ready to go. Ready to go. Folks are all loaded down.
We left camp. Temperature's still at negative 27 degrees. And uh, we got out to the open side of the lake here. And the wind is starting to hit. So at some point I might be pulling the, uh, the old buff up over the face. It's good. It's a good feeling. Negative 27. It's not bad. How you doing back there, Milos? I am experiencing wind chill of approximately minus 35, minus 40. And as soon as you come around the bend, you can really feel, you know. Why aren't you in your, uh, your shorts? It froze. <laughs> Milos's uh, dolphin shorts froze to the rock. So he couldn't put them on this morning. Oh, well. The actual temperature is negative 27, but with the wind coming off the lake, it's more like negative 42. Whew, I feel that. <laughs> you can see the swirls of snow on the lake. It's nice. So if you haven't already, make sure you check out their channels. You got uh, Midwest Backpacker, and taking up the rear is uh, Robert Pelton, Rob Pelton. And of course, the one and only Milos Milos. There he is. There he is. back. I think for all of us this is our lowest temperature trip that we've ever been out on and uh, I gotta say it wasn't that bad really. Take note of wind direction for day, for night and next day you know so campfire plan, uh, backdrop, uh, windbreak plan, shelter plan for uh, wind direction. But we are missing one member of our group. Robert Pelton has yet to be seen. Oh, wait a minute, I think I might see him now. Crap! Can you get me a beer? Oh yeah, dude, we got one waiting for you right over here. <laughs> this is winter camping. This is how we do it. Yeah. You? Hello there, friends. Have you checked your W-2 lately? <laughs> All right. big old fart. I wasn't talking about your age. That's the way we do it, bitches. Newsflash, it's cold as shit. That's right. Uh, that's not what I meant, Rob. <laughs> How about now? That's the top three items. Wait. That it... Bingo. So I was asked... Wait! What from Steger, which are in Eli, Minnesota, which was kind of the base of our operations for this trip. Number two okay, is stop, stop. So I was asked what my top three items and are. And go. So I was asked Wait. what my... <laughs> and go. You, you're not helping. You're, you're not helping. Oh. Winterland, wonder. He's being creepy already. Oh, well, guys, that's going to do it for this winter adventure here in Ely, Minnesota, in the Boundary Waters. If you guys are into fun and adventure, make sure you check out these two guys. Robert Pelton, he's going to put his trip, trip up probably sooner than I will. And, uh, of course, almost from Midwest Backpacker, he'll get his up uh, probably Tuesday. He's got a nice beaver. Thank you. Thank you. Got my noggin warm. Of course, to check out Milos Milos. Guys, thanks again for joining along. We'll see you on the next one. Oh, I don't start wearing purple Start wearing the purple For me Now